However, Ethereum has been performing well, so I should consider buying, buying more Ethereum. Before making any decision, I should evaluate the long-term performance of both cryptocurrency. Hey everyone, my name is Vinalin, and in this video we're going to have a look at a very cool project called O2GPT. Essentially what this project allows you to do is to run GPT-4 or ChatGPT 3.5 in autonomous mode so you can let it run based on some goals and it feeds on itself with the initial inputs and then it takes the outputs of itself and use this as an input and then continue in this autonomous loop in order to provide some value based on the goals that you're going to set first we're going to have a very brief look at the project then we're going to set it up right within a google co-op notebook then we're going to set some goals for this video and then we're going to let it run and look at the results. Please take note that this video is not financial advice so you shouldn't take anything from here as a financial advice. It is just for the demo purposes and we're going to have a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum prices and how AutoGPT is going to invest some money right within those cryptocurrencies. Let's get started. The AutoGPT project is open sourced and it is published on GitHub. Currently, the repository has more than 18,000 stars and here it has a very good readme file. It says that this program driven by GPT-4 autonomously develops and manages businesses to increase net worth as one of the first examples of GPT-4 running fully autonomously. So auto GPT pushes the boundary of what is possible with AI. So the purpose of this project is to essentially let GPT-4 or other similar models run free with some goals in mind. Other than this, here we have a very nice summary of the features and then what is required to do the installation. I have an empty Google Co-op notebook that is already connected and it is just a CPU instance. So I'm going to follow essentially the prompt or the readme file from here. First, I'm going to clone the repository. And then I'm going to enter the directory. Okay, so next we need to install the requirements, but I'm going to copy this and do a bit more here. I'm going to also upgrade pip, install the requirements from here, and finally I'm going to install co-op xterm, which will allow us to run a terminal right within Google co-op. Let's run this. After everything is installed, I'm going to restart the runtime. And after this is done, I'm going to go to the file explorer and here we have this env template and if you're trying to open it, uh, Google Coop is not allowing you to do this. So what I'm going to do in order to overcome this, I'm going to enter again the directory of the project since we've restarted the notebook and then I'm going to cut the env template file to have a look at it. So here it is. Uh, it says that we are going to use a smart large language model for GPT-4 and the fast one for GPT or ChatGPT 3.5. So the thing that we are going to change in here is going to be this key. I'm going to pass in my own key right here and you should pass in your own in this template. But in order to run this, I'm going to copy the env template to an env file. And this should now allow you to open this within co-op. And then you need to change your API key here. I'm going to just put in mine. After you set up the key, we need to essentially create this .m file and to do that I'm going to move the m file to .env and once this is executed you see that we now have this .m file so we are ready with the API key and after this is done I'm going to load the 
extension of the terminal right here. Okay, so now we should be able to run the terminal within Google Co-op, but we are going to need to do something else as well. So this is the AI settings.yaml file and right within it, I'm going to show you what it contains right now. So these are essentially the default settings for the auto GPT model. And it says that it has three goals and then it has a name and then a row. So the default values increase network, develop and manage multiple businesses autonomously, play to your strength as a large language model, then the name of the agent, and then the role, an AI designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. So these are the default settings. And if you would like to, you might use those, but I'm going to do something a bit different right here. So I'm going to again, open the file. And the first thing that I'm going to change right here uh, is going to be the name of the agent is going to be called crypto GPT. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to change the role. So what the role is going to be an AI designed to start with $10,000 and autonomously accumulate Bitcoin and Ethereum with the so goal, which is similar to what we had as a default of increasing their amount while not losing all. So essentially the goal is to try to accumulate more Bitcoin and Ethereum while not going bust. So for the goals, increase Bitcoin and Ethereum amount. The next one is going to be suggest which cryptocurrencies to buy and sell and when to do it. And then I'm going to leave this as a default one. Play to your strength as a virtual language model. So I'm going to save this, close this, and I'm going to again check the contents of the file. And these are the new contents that we are going to use. Next, I'm going to start the terminal since we've already loaded the extension and I'm going to use the X term, just run the terminal right here and it says that it's launching. And here we have the terminal right within the auto GPT directory. And I'm going to go to the project description. And here is the simple usage that you're going to do. Also, you can use just GPT 3.5 if you want to try out this. So you have to pass in GPT-3 only. So this will go ahead and use ChatGPT or GPT-3.5 Turbo. And this will be a bit cheaper. But by default, this uh, project is using GPT-4. And you can also enable speak mode, but I haven't tried this and I haven't used it. Probably you need to do some configuration in order to do that. I'm going to just use the text format right here. And I'm going to get this. Let's start with the script. So it says, would you like me to return to crypto GPT? Crypto GPT and then the row and the goals. Everything looks all right. I'm going to say yes to this. And it says it is thinking and the memory that is using is on the local storage. So here is the first output. Uh, it seems like the API is currently very busy, but it, I should start by revealing the current prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is the thoughts and then the reasoning. Since my goal is to increase the amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum I have, knowing the current prices and trend will inform my decision making. Great. So there is a plan. Review current prices, reevaluate my holdings of each cryptocurrency, determine whether I should buy or sell. 
based on the trends and my long-term plan. Very good. I need to ensure that I'm not making decisions based solely on short-term trends, but instead keeping my long-term goals in mind. Wow, that this looks very, very good actually, and it sounds amazing. Okay, so let's authorize this. And this is the next output of the project. So it did a Google search, and then I need to determine which cryptocurrency to prioritize and make a plan for when to buy or sell it. To do so, I should analyze the current prices and trends of both Bitcoin and Ethereum, as well as any relevant news or events that might affect their value. I should also review my long-term goals and consider any potential risks. I want to increase, so the reasoning I want to increase the amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum I have and analyzing current prices and trends will inform my decision making. Additionally, considering any relevant news holistic view of the market while keeping my long term goals in mind wow so the plan analyze the current prices research any relevant news consider my long term goals so criticism i need to be mindful of my budget and not invest more than i can afford to lose additionally i need to ensure that i'm not making decisions based solely on emotions or hype wow but rather on objective analysis and reasoning all right so the command is Google, current prices and trends of Bitcoin and Ethereum's news and events. So it is adding essentially this news and event to the Google search and go to authorize this. So based on the previous prompt, it did a Google search and then it searched for news. As you can see, it searched through Nasdaq.com. Then it searched through Investors.com. And then some of the other sites are Coinpedia, Cryptopolitan etc and newsbitcoin.com so these are some of the titles and the bodies of these and then it says based on my google search i see that the current prices of bitcoin and ethereum are 28,180. and yeah probably around there ethereum has a higher price and lower market cap compared to bitcoin higher price and lower market cap hmm, interesting so, however, Ethereum has been performing well, so I should consider buying, buying more Ethereum. Before making any decision, I should evaluate the long-term performance of both cryptocurrency. Knowing, knowing, so the reason, knowing the current prices is helpful, but long-term trends are more valuable for my goal of increasing the amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum I hold. So here's the plan, research the long-term performance of Bitcoin and Ethereum, consider the current prices and trends, focus on Ethereum due to its good performance but by ethereum as i have realized holds holding significant positions in the cryptocurrency market is important for significant returns wow so the criticism and then again it is doing the reasoning the plan and then what might go wrong i need to make sure my decision making process also factors in any potential risks involved in holding cryptocurrencies given their volatility Besides, I need to help. Uh, the, I need to keep a diversified portfolio to minimize the risks instead of focusing on a single type of asset. So then it says that it wants to do a Google search long-term performance of Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is it for this video. If you want to continue with the experiment, you might want to try and dive a bit further within the responses of the AutoGPT project. We've seen how you can essentially install this into a Google Club Notebook, run the terminal from there using the Xterm extension or library right within a Google Club Notebook. And then we run the project in order to increase our portfolio of Bitcoin and Ethereum. We saw that we wanted to specify sp some goals like not going bust with within the $10,000 uh, that we are providing it with. And then it went ahead, run through the news, found the current prices. Then it ran through some titles or news of the long-term trends. And then it provided us with a plan, thoughts, and then some criticism based on its thoughts. So it looked like a very interesting project and probably you might want to try out it for yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you want to, you can also join the Discord channel where we discuss current machine learning, deep learning and artificial intelligence topics. It will be right within the description. Bye.